my name is Jonas Dizoglu and in this tutorial we're going to talk about macros. Macros basically is a visual basic code, VB code, and because this VB code, visual basic code, will be used within an application, we call the code VBA code. In order to apply a macro, you have two options. Apply the macro manually or apply the macro by using the wizard. I'm just going to, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you both ways. So I'm going to select the macro by using the wizard. So record macro. I'm going to name my macro fruits underscore proxy. Make sure the store macro in this workbook only. Select it. Okay. Now any step that I will take will be recorded within my macro. So I'm going to select the fruits worksheet and then select stop recording. Now if I go to the macros tab, I will be able to see my, the macro I just created. So before I go even deeper to explain to you what macro is, let's have a look what I just did. So let me just close this window. I'm going to go to the main menu. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Insert, Button, and Draw a Button there. Now, by drawing the button there, I will be able to actually select the macro I just created earlier, and click OK. By deselecting my button, and selecting the button once more, it will navigate me to the Fruits Worksheet. So basically, my macro works. So I'm going to select Button. I'm going to go back to the main menu. What if you would like to customize this button? You can right click and you can actually format control. You can change the size, you can change the font, you can change all sorts here. But this, no matter what you're going to change, this button will always be an order button. So what I usually do is go to insert, select shape. Select a little nice shape here, click and drag, select in the drop down list. I'm going to select this, this button there, this option. I'm going to select shapes, I'm going to select uh, 3D, let's select something like that. Uh, then I'm going to select the text box, apply text. So I'm going to call it fruits. I'm going to highlight this text and make the text bigger. Okay, so I, could, I quite like that now. With this uh, shape selected, I'm going to right click and select Assign Macro. The macro I'm going to assign will be the Fruits Worksheet macro I created earlier. Click OK. So by deselecting the, the macro, the, the shape, if I try to go over my mouse cursor, you can, as you can see, it changes. Once I click it, the macro will be applied and the worksheet fruits will be displayed. So, this is how you create a macro and apply a macro into an ugly button. This is how you create a macro by using the wizard and apply it into a nice good looking button. What we are going to do next is see how we can apply macro manually. So I'm going to select the developers tab, select the macros button, and now I'm going to select edit. So with the macro selected and selected edit, I'm going back, I'm, I'm going to open the Microsoft Visual Basic window. So as I said before, this is the v Visual Basic code. But because we use this code, VB code, within an application, we call this code VBA code. Now, what we can do, as you can see here, we have some programmers' comments. I'm going to just delete these extra lines to keep, try to keep my code nice and clean. I'm going to do, I'm just going to copy this code, skip a couple of lines and paste it again. I'm going to change uh, my soup to vegetables. And also the worksheet that I would like to open will be the vegetables worksheet. 
make sure that this name will match your actual worksheet okay and we use the dot c command so now i've done that i'm going to select save yes i would like to save it and close uh, the macro of the visual basic window now what i'm going to do i'm going to go to insert a new shape let's use a little start here i'm going to drop down the lists something similar fx 3d something similar to to that okay let's get out of the way let's go crazy here okay and what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna select the text box here and type here vegetables i'm gonna highlight the word make the text bigger vegetables shape I'm going to move this to the right left and now what I'm going to do I'm going to right click assign a macro and if you remember we manually create a macro called vegetables okay so I'm going to select edit so I can show you again the code so this is what we call it vegetables okay let's close that so let's right click again go go the assign macro I'm going to select the vegetables worksheet and click OK now if I deselect this uh, shape and go try to go over this my mouse cursor changes I'm going to click once and it's going to take me to the vegetable worksheet so this is how you apply macros on shapes uh, this is how you're going to apply macros on uh, uh, buttons the default buttons that you will be able to generate from the developers tab Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next tutorial.